and try and have as much fun and enjoy it as much as I could. I was playing in a team with Peterson, Collingwood, um, Cook, Broad, guys who I'd watched on the TV and never met before, and then all of a sudden I was playing cricket with them. Morning legends, I am on the train here from Skipton in Yorkshire. We've just got on, it's just started moving. Will and I are here, we've got our coffees. Your beauty, um, we've been up early this morning, much to Will's dismay, he wanted to sleep in. We had a lovely place to stay in last night, but um, I wanted to get an interview done with Mark, the guy who um, I've been doing opening up with, and this morning was the best time. So now we're on a three and a bit hour journey from Yorkshire here at Skipton down, down to London. And then it's a day of running around. I've got a meeting with Robbie Humphreys, who's behind the World Sports Exchange, a great cricket agency here in the UK, someone I'm linked with. Um, so meeting with him at Kings Cross Station, he's making an effort to come down from Cambridge just to see me. And then I've got to run around London, pick up my suitcase from Will's uncle's place, get it across London to Sam's place. And then hoping to interview Finney this afternoon. I meant to do it last week and we postponed it to today. So fingers crossed that'll work out. He's a busy man, so trying to nail him down is difficult. But then on to Hampstead this evening for our final Mental Peak Performance presentation. Now you mentioned self-reflection. What, is, what does that look like in a practical sense? And does that help people with their mental well-being? Yeah, it's really crucial. I'd say part of you can use this as part of that, that gratitude process in keeping a journal or a diary and... The reflection can be on, say in cricket, uh, your game or your training session to work out what you think went well, what you think didn't go so well. But I think the crucial thing then is to build in what you're going to do perhaps next time, what you can learn from it, what you can take from it. Um, and I'd say in sort of general life, that self-reflection can be when you are struggling with things and maybe you're having anxieties about the way things are going. And a really useful tip and a tool to use there is if you are having this kind of worry and anxiety and, and concern about things, to self-reflect by writing down what it is that you're worried about and then being taking it from a rational perspective and, and challenging it. So a common anxiety for people is that um, a social situation they've been and they think hasn't gone well and people are going to think they're an idiot. So you could put that down and then the rational response would be, well, the other person or the other people in that They've got other things going on in their life rather than just thinking about what you did. You know, you, you tripped over, dropped a cup of tea. Well, in fact, they might have thought at the time that looked a bit daft, but they're certainly not spending the rest of their day going, oh, God, he dropped a cup of tea. Of course they wouldn't. So trying to rationalise that and self-reflect can then balance it out and make people think, yeah, that they, they don't find everything so on top of them. Hey, vlog. I'm just here at King's Cross Station at Giraffe a Restaurant with Robbie Humphreys. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Robbie is um, the founder and director at uh, World Sports Exchange, who, if anyone is interested in coming to play cricket in the UK or you're in the UK and want to go and play in Australia, this is your man. How's it all going? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. It's been a beautiful summer here in England. So, guys, if you want to play cricket overseas, get in contact with me and I'll put you in contact with Robbie. Cheers, legends. Hey, vlog. We're back in London. It has been a hectic couple of hours. Um, arrived into King's Cross, did my uh, meeting with Robbie, and then have cruised across London to pick up bags and change over bags and there's Will in the background in the reflection. Now we're about to get to Robbo's and then set up for an interview with Stephen Finn so really thrilled to be interviewing him and learn about his story. Um, again I was I was called up as like a late replacement for Ryan Sidebottom I think so I went over there straight from a Lions tour in Dubai who that was my first Lions tour so I was still very new to the environment um, at that level I think I flew into Bangladesh and then played the next day in a three-day warm-up game and Andy Flau liked what he saw and decided to leapfrog me over the guys who'd been there preparing for the series for a while into that first test and again it all happened so quickly so that I didn't really have a grasp of what was going on that I was making my international test debut at a young age I, I just went out there and tried to running as hard as I could, bowl as quick as I could, remember those things that I thought about when I was a youngster um, and try and have as much fun and enjoy it as much as I could. I was playing in a team with Peterson, Collingwood, um, Cook, Broad, 
guys who I'd watched on the TV and never met before, and then all of a sudden I was playing cricket with them. So it was it was a awesome experience. Um, but I think they're just going out there and trying to enjoy it. Hey vlog, just down here at Hampstead Cricket Club, about to start the final of our three peak performance presentations. I'm here with young Ismail, who uh, is 16. Tell everyone your full name. Uh, Ismail is here. I'm 16, and I run a media production company. There you go. What's it called? Sunflower Media. Check it out. Check it out, guys. He uh, he contacted me via Instagram. We've been chatting. He's based here in London and makes great quality videos. So I've got my videographer here, Will Metro Media. What's your Instagram? Uh, underscore Metro Media. And your personal one? Uh, Will Glover 1755. All right. And your Instagram? Uh, Sunflower Media and Ismail underscore Nazir. There you go, legends. Check them out. A couple of gun videographers. Four hours. We tra we train for nine minutes and we hit a ball every ten seconds and then we want to base score hundreds. And it's hard to set it up in our environment, especially in club cricket. But you've got to do whatever you can. You've got to set your environment. I think as many balls as you can, but you've got to sometimes go away from the the traditional training and train as you play. Finally, big thing for me when you're training is. We're so judgmental in our self-talk. We're so judgmental on what is good and what is bad. We, we decide, oh, that was a good shot, or that wasn't a good shot. We're so judging. Rather than I think the best to, to be successful and to be repetitive, I think you need to be 